FCS football at the University of Delaware this summer. Trey Harris in motion as we get ready for the first snap of the night. Streeter hands to Josh Mernick to the left side for a couple of yards. Pushed out by Luke Robison for Brentwood Academy. Here's the starting Lions. Second and five on this first drive of the game for CPA. Pass is tipped and incomplete. Luke Robison. Braden Streeter hands to Josh Mernick. He's stuffed way behind the line. Robison in again along with Todd Hammond. The Commodores. Junior, second year starter, number two ranked junior quarterback in the country. And he's got a lot of new weapons, including that man, Tamari Hill, who transferred from the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back state champion Oakland Patriots to Brentwood Academy for this his junior season. That's his first touch at BA to get their first series started. They want to show that the running backs are also hybrid slot wide receiver types. They're getting them out on the edge, letting them use their speed, try and chip away some early yards. McIntyre steps through the pressure. Rolls right, has some help from Shavar Young, who only gets a couple and he's brought down. CPA with a third down stop, Riley. You'll see more efficiency. Hudson Chance, the second quarterback in. He hands off to Josh Mernick, who's dropped for a big loss. AJ Barbat, the senior leader, with a big replace him for this snap. First time to throw for Hudson Chance, instead he'll take off. And pick up six or seven, setting up a third down and five. See if Chance throws here. Rolls right, gonna run for it, and he's got a first down. Trey Harris in motion. He becomes a tight end as Marinick gets another run play. He's dropped in the backfield. Fredwood Academy's been all over some of these run plays. That's Kez Fontenot. We have to em emphasize eliminating the ground game early on, but they're good at motioning and shifting and trading, and that presents run services and gaps. So they have to be disciplined with their alignment, and that starts with stopping the run. It's our... Um for college students, if they want to do the Tennessee Strong Act and they want to still attend school, Tennessee Strong Act covers 100% tuition to any uh, any state school within uh, the state of Tennessee. Also, uh, federal and quarterback George McIntyre, five-man rush, screen to Tamari Hill. He's met at the line of scrimmage and stuck down by Steel Chance. Back to back, three and outs to start the season for the CPA defense. CPA, their pressure up. Four punts, two aside so far. London Baronis with the left-footed boot. Jackson Matthews under it. Plenty of hang time. Matthews will give it a go. Splits the crowd and has some room. Jackson Matthews down the left side for CPA. And he's pushed out by Baronis inside the 25-yard line. Game, so they won't use them as much as they will later in the year on offense. Throw over the middle, looking for Trey Harris. Did he catch it? No, oh, incomplete. Defensive coordinator and assistant head coach there the last six years. There's a big hit by Matthews, who had the big kick return. Ready to, ready to execute. PA may not have had enough players on the field, and the refs gave him a chance to change that. McIntyre throws over the middle for a first down to Luke Robison. Robison, an early factor in all three phases tonight for PA. CPA's had three after a 50-yard punt return. They missed a field goal last time. McIntyre lets it fly to Shavar Young for a big gainer. One of George McIntyre's new weapons, the transfer from Knoxville Webb, Shavari. So he's going to try and stay in contact with everybody. First down, B.A. at the 19. McIntyre throws again to Young again for a Brentwood Academy touchdown. George McIntyre to Shavari Young. 19 yards for the Eagles' first score of the season.
Max, this is where McIntyre's physical traits stand out. There's a little bit of pressure in front of him, but because of his physical tools, he's able to keep his eyes on his receiver. Young is in the right spot. They have good timing. Easy touchdown. See that right foot right there? Hits the white. That is an out of bounds. Third and seven. Streeter throws right to the sticks, and it is caught for a first down by Jackson Matthews. That's a UA local 572 first down for CPA in the white uniforms down a touchdown as we start the second quarter. And a handoff to Rawls Patterson. The sophomore gets his first varsity touch. CPA fans and Nashville High School football fans know the two older brother Pattersons, Kane Patterson, who are playing in the SEC are good. Wait till the twins get to high school. Well, they're there now. Here's Rawls Patterson again, his second carry. Dives right into the big senior Wisconsin commit, Hank Weber. Play fake. Streeter throws to Jackson Matthews for another first down. Exactly what I'm talking about. They just ran out of the 21 personnel. They're showing a run RPO. Now the slant's open. Great read by the quarterback right there. Well, I guess he'll probably run someone over if he gets the chance tonight. This type of dudes the CPA team is filled with. Screen pass to Matthews. Met by a couple of BA Eagles and pushed out of bounds. For a CPA team that really has it. Second and six. Streeter keeps it. Has a lot of guys to get away from, and he won't do it. A.J. Barbat was first, then Brody Belleville, then Brax Bell. Braden Streeter throws right to the sticks for another first down to Owen Cabell. The sophomore with offers from Vanderbilt, Tennessee, and U. And the running Rebels of Las Vegas came this summer. Andre Evans in motion. Handoff to Cruz Law. The star linebacker gets his first offensive touch, and he moves the pile for a gain of seven. They'll run the ball every play. He'll be the blocker here for Braden Streeter. Right up the gut, and he has a first down. Goal to go, and a flag comes in. Some extracurriculars between... 33-yard field goal for CPA and Camden Holiday, who missed from 38. This kick is good. CPA is on the board. George McIntyre, the number two junior quarterback in the nation, hands off to Tamari Hill, who busts one. T.T. Hill is off. First B.A. T.D. for T.T. is 76 yards. Start at their own 20 after the touchback. Josh Mernick, the carry. Tripped up for a gain of three. Go with a tight formation. It's a QB keeper with 10 blockers, but that doesn't help when A.J. Barbat's in the way. Fourth down. And those are just the power fives. I'll give you props, Max. That was impressive. You don't want to hear me read that fast. He throws to the man who has 10 fewer offers than him. That's still a lot, Shavari Young. Matt, four second and six for B.A. McIntyre with some time. Throws over the middle for another one to Young. Tire throws again to Young, and again caught. Little toe tap for Shavar Young in his BA debut. McIntyre to Hayes Smithson for a first down. The junior and off to Brax Belleville at the goal line, and he's down at the one. Riley Gregory saved a touchdown. It'll be third and goal. Going tempo from Redwood Academy here. They want to go fast. Belleville knocked down by Law. Loss of a couple. Cruz Law. Cruz. London Baronis out for a short one. 20-yard kick. It's good. 
What do you think of the decision for three? I'm a big fan of the field goals, even in red zone situations. First read, it's his second and his third, but he's able to get the ball out just in time to have that perfect completion percentage. He's six foot five inches to always 180 pounds. His first pass of the second half is caught by his primary target, Shavar Young. So there is a flag right at the line of scrimmage on a gain of nine. Young had five catches for 93 yards and a touchdown, including a 41 yarder. That's 79 Power 5 college football offers. Still yet to throw an incompletion as he hits Brax Belleville on the screen and go. He's close to the marker. To have his perfect game regardless of completion percentage. He's pressured on third and seven. Going to run with the football. Gets through Trey Harris for a first down Brentwood Academy. To be an athlete and the school supporting them in a very positive light. I don't want you to get a hit right there. A little action here. <laughs> a little action. And that's really making a big impact. And also, what kind of impact does this have? High school football broadcasts are based here in Nashville with Steve Mann leading our crew. So we are excited to be part of this big weekend, finishing it up tonight. Redwood Academy trying to end it with an exclamation point. Tamari Hill picks up a third and six. He didn't think he was down. He's never going to stop. And why would he? First down, B.A. Interesting formation. They have the tight end on the right side, and they have the trips on the right side. So which side do you think they're going to run it? It might be a pool, but... First drive of the second half. No Cruz Law on the field for CPA after he was injured prior to our last commercial break. He was into their duo, and they're motioning their one tight end a lot, trying to get, it, get the defense off rhythm. Hill hit in the backfield by Patterson and then pushed back by a pack of Lions. Five minutes into the opening drive of the second half. A screen to Hill on third and goal. And as a loss, Steel Chance was right there to knock Hill back and bring up fourth down for B. and Braden Streeter of alternating for CPA. Evans in motion. Rawls Patterson with the handoff again. He's had the ball the first two plays. Well, Bruno, it took two quarters for the Patterson twins to find their way on. Third and one. Chance on the keeper. He's got a first down. Everybody on the property knew what was coming. The BMC Metalworks first down for the CPA Lions and the White Unis. Balls Patterson back on the field and going nowhere. Colby Harmon, the corner, got right in. Loss of three even right now. About 16 minutes aside. Evans in motion. He still does not have a catch in this game. The LSU cornerback commit. Hudson Chance throws deep down the field to Cavill, and it's broken up. Incomplete. Isaiah Williams sheaths his sword. Going to be effective with that. Another pressured punt. Jack Van Orman, the freshman, has gotten the ball off. It hits Hill, and CPA has it. Jackson Matthews recovers the muff punt, and the Lions get it. Intentionality to the game plan. Rawls Patterson, another handoff. Gets through Barbat, keeps on spinning. The Patterson twins are here. Patterson who starred in this program in one state titles. Here's Rawls again. Barbat gets him this time. Did he reach far enough for the first down on third? It's fourth down. Streeter has the first down. That's Hudson Chance. The running QB with Cade Law back on second and 11. Balls Patterson back in at running back. Streeter throws to the end zone. Touchdown, CPA. Braden Streeter to Owen Cabell. It's a one possession game in the final minute of the third with a Hiller plumbing, heating, cooling, and electrical touchdown. Half minutes off the clock, but missed a field goal. Penalty makes it third and 11. McIntyre flushed out, throws it to the bench. CPA's defense closes the third quarter with a statement. Six point game as we go to walk on to the UD Lax team and play some D1 lacrosse at the end of his senior year. It's a long ways away. Josh Mernick has his first touch of the second half. After just 22 yards on 10 rushes in the first half, they went with. 
Another young guy, sophomore. Third and eight. Streeter lets it fly to Evans. Incomplete. Japanese Football League for the Fujitsu Frontiers. Now he's coaching George McIntyre, but he can't help him here. CPA gets everybody home. Rocco Abanero and a whole lot of his friends. D lineman. Third and 14 for BA. McIntyre to Robison, who has a long way to go for the first down, and he won't get there. Weston Parker with first contact. And their jungle theme tonight with the Lions in town. Firing things up on second and ten. Chance down the sideline. Caught by Owen Cabell. Best throw of the night here by Chance. Anytime you see a receiver able to run in stride and take it over the corner, even in fighting off some contact there, an excellent ball right here. Has a son, Eli, on this team. There's Rawls Patterson on the first or second down handoff. Let's go down to Sammy after a gain of eight. CPA sideline and the, the message of Chance hands off to Preston Patterson, who's close, needs a push. In the game trailed 7-0, 7-3, 13-3, seven and 16-3. Chance flushed out, gets away from Barbat. He's gonna run for the first down. Did he beat Hank Weber there? We'll await the spot. The near side official may have marked him short. His opening night of that senior year. Hudson Chance running this drive at quarterback. Throws to Andre Evans for his first catch of the game. The future LSU corner. Has taken over the offense with under five minutes to go now for CPA. Chance runs, has a first down and more down into the red zone, and he shrugs off Easton Joyner. First Martin's brain, and the boys all buy in. They brought in an extra blocker here as well for Chance to keep on running. They can get a first down in around the state or watching. It's a title bout to finish up week one. Hand off to Rawls Patterson on the end around for the touchdown. Rawls Patterson scores his first varsity touchdown to tie the game with 350 left in the fourth 17-16 in his second year as the starter Hands off to Tamari Hill to get the drive going, but he ran into a teammate and fell down into just a couple Second and seven Five-man rush. Hill on the screen. Tamari Hill dancing around. He has a first down for Brentwood Academy. You ain't local. 572 first down as the clock stops. Third and ten for Brentwood Academy. McIntyre flushed and sacked. Ian McGargy. Brentwood Academy. They. Four-man rush, McIntyre into heavy coverage and intercepted! Jackson Matthews with the pick! CPA football with 2.02 to go! Patterson again on second and seven for the first down! How about a stiff arm for Rawls Patterson? CP Streeter takes the first knee. We'll need one more. The CPA student body and families are here. They're fired up.